welcome to today's video <coughs> in this video i'm going to continue looking at cartesian prime and in today's video i'm going to look at uh, joining different points on the cartesian plane so watch this video up to the end as i'm going to show you how you can join points uh, different points on a cartesian plane with that being said let's get into today's work so let me start by uh, stating that when joining different points on the Cartesian plane, you use a ruler. So when you're doing this task, you need to have a ruler <coughs> with you. Uh, it's very important you don't use free hands when joining these points, as you cannot come up with a straight line. Okay. The other point is uh, you follow the way ordered pairs are given or instruction given so when you're joining you need to pay attention to the instructions or the ordered pairs the way they are given okay so that you start with maybe when joining points you start with the first point given going to the second point given then you go until you finish the uh, the points given in that order remember you should be using a ruler when drawing lines when joining these points you use a ruler okay now let's see join <coughs> points different points on the cartesian print so i'm going to demonstrate how you do this so watch this video up to the end as i'm going to show you how you can join different points so um on the grid uh okay let me just finish uh, writing okay okay so on the grid brought these points a negative 2 comma negative 1 b 2 comma 3 c 4 comma 3 d negative 1 comma negative 3 the instruction is join the points as follows a to b b to c c to d and d to a okay so what you need to do first you need to draw the cartesian graph on the grid so you need to draw the cartesian plane on the green okay you need to draw the cartesian plane on the grid okay so if you don't know how to draw the cartesian plane on the grid we have a video specifically for that but I'm also going to show you how you can draw in this video. But we have a video which just talked about drawing um, uh, Cartesian plane on the grid. Okay. So what you need to do, you need to start by uh, drawing the y and x axis, which is marked by uh, zero there, which is the origin uh, point of origin. Then you also need to indicate which one is x axis and which one is a y axis. Once you're done, you then you need to number the, the the lines. You need to label the numbers on the x-axis and y-axis. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Okay. Once you're done, now you need to start uh, plotting points on the Cartesian plane. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start... Um, plotting points and i'll start with uh, the first point given which is a which is negative two comma negative one so what they are meaning there is a negative two is on the x-axis and negative one is on the y-axis so i'm going to follow the lines the line from negative two on the x-axis and where it is going to meet the line from negative one on the y-axis so this is what i'm talking about i'm looking at that the one i've underlined that is point a which is negative two comma negative one so to trace that we are going to see that negative two comma negative one is here okay so since it's there we, as you can see the red dot on the grid there below negative two on the x-axis that is the point which is negative Two comma negative one. That's where the line from negative two is meeting the line from negative one. The line from negative two on the x-axis is meeting the line from negative one on the y-axis. That is why I've put the dot there, the red dot. Next, I'm going to label it a. 
Okay, I'm going to label it A. Once I've labeled it A, then I'll go to point B, which is 2 comma 3. So 2 is for um, X axis. So X axis is well, that's the line from X axis, which is 2, and 3 is for Y axis. So where the line from uh, 2 on the X axis meeting the line from 3 on the Y axis is here. And I'm going to label it B there. Okay. Now, once I've found the point B, then I'm going to go to C. So C is 4, comma 3. So 4 on the x axis is there, and 3 on the y axis is there. So where these two lines are meeting, so it's there where I've put the dot. So as you can see, um, <coughs> 3 is on top of, or the point I've put is on top of 4 and uh, in the same line with 3. So that is where the point uh, 4, comma 3 is and I'm going to label it C. Okay, then I'm going to find the last coordinates which is negative 1, comma, negative 3 which is uh, <coughs> so Negative 1 is for the x-axis and negative 3 is for y-axis. So the, where the line from negative 1 on the x-axis is meeting, the line from negative 3 on the y-axis is here. Okay, it's here. Okay, where I've put the lady dot, the last lady dot, you see it. Uh, below the negative 1 on the x-axis and on the same line with it. Um, and it's beside negative, it's besides negative, uh, it's beside negative 3 on the y axis. So now I've plotted and I'm going to name it D. So that is the last point D, which is uh, negative 1, comma, negative 3. Okay, now I'm done plotting points on the grid or on the Cartesian plane. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to... <coughs> I'm going to join the lines. So to join the lines, we have got the instruction which is join the points as follows. So A to B, that's the first one. Join the line A to B. So that's the one we're going to start with. We're not going to go to B to C. First, let's deal with A to B. So we're going to join <coughs> the points A and B. So we'll start from A going to B. So I'm going to join that. Okay, once I've done that, then we're going to the next step, which is B to C. So I'm going to join B to C. Okay, then the next one is C to D. So I'm going to join C to D. Okay, <clears throat> and the last one, which is and D to A. So I'm going to join A to uh, D to A. So I'm going to join like that. Okay, now I've joined the points on the Cartesian plan. Plane, sorry, I'm, I've joined the points on the Cartesian plane, and that's how you join the points. You need to use a ruler, and you, as you can see, we have come up with a shape. I don't know if it's, that is the rectangle shape. I'm sure it is. To my, the way I'm seeing it, it's a rectangle shape. So basically, this is how you join lines. Um, you, you are sorry, not join lines. You join points on the Cartesian plane. So after drawing them, you get a ruler. You just join the points. Whether I didn't follow the instructions, if I just draw them, them to join like that, it will still come up with as in a rectangle. But it's very important to follow the instructions because in certain scenarios, you're not going to join all the areas or all the points. I mean, you're not going to join all the points. You just join the specific points you are being told in the instructions. So you need to pay attention to the instruction. Don't just draw the... the <coughs> Uh, the the lines because some points you'll be given many co maybe many coordinates then you come up with maybe three or four shapes so you need to follow instructions when you're joining uh, points because it's very important uh, to follow that that's how you can come up with it. the maybe the shape the examiners are trying to ask you to form so basically this is how you join lines Thank you so much for watching. It has been Easy Learning Z Mathematics. The future is bright. See you in the next video. And if you have got questions, you can write them in the comment section. We'll be glad to respond to them. Otherwise, thank you so much. God bless you and see you in the next video.